um, site cleanup in, in San Rafael. Um, and just want to um, ask that this potentially be agendized, um, looking at the letter that the project owner sent um, to Mr. Cleet Carlton on April 5th, gives me great pause, um, first and foremost, that it's written by the owner personally, um, without, you know, it, it's not, it's no longer written by a consultant or somebody who's actually going to be doing the work. Um, again, giving reasons, economy, financial reasons on why things aren't happening, um, all of which feel as though they're falling a bit flat. Um, and, you know, the promises that we will have an excavation and a demolition of the building and cleanup will be done um, this summer. I, I guess there's just a real concern, um, you know, given that this is coming from the individual and not from the consultant or, or the person who will be really doing the work. So ask that the, the board continue to monitor this closely and um, agendize it if you see fit. Thank you for the time. All right. Thank you for your comments, Mary. You know, I assume that unless this is a subject that, that's noticed um, or it's going to be covered in the executive uh, officer's report, uh, we can't uh, discuss it for due process re uh, reasons, but I appreciate your comments. Um, next up, we have Bill McNicholas. Um, Bill's familiar to all of us. And can you queue him up? Is he ready to go? Bill? Still says Mary Sackett on the screen. All right, Bill, can you hear us? And can I can you hear, hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear you. So go ahead, please. Great. Bill McNicholas, Clean Up Marinwood Plaza, now Oversight Committee. Uh, been here many times, as you know. I just go back is tomorrow will be marked the eighth year in which the wrap was issued back in April 14th of twenty what was it, 2004 or whatever, and uh, 2014, I should say. But I just went back and reviewed it, and I saw Mrs. Hoyt's letter of what she proposed to do this summer, and I'm reading the things to be done in the wrap, and in the first six months after the wrap was to be done, the plaza was to be torn down and remediation taken and started. Eight years later, we're still talking about the same issue we were talking about eight years ago. What does it take to move things along and get the job done? I don't know. I've been on this for 10 years, tracking it back to when uh, the water district and Sue Adams said the place was cleaned up and ready for expansion, except uh, the new project manager said, hey, you got a water's groundwater and it's got to be taken at PCE somewhere and we checked it across and they tried you guys checked it across the highway guess what we found out Silvera and St. Vincent's had a nice plume going over there and there is some work doing over there but there's been very little except for the excavation we had back about four years ago where they didn't tear down the building because of delays of getting proposals or whatever and here we sit, same place we were eight years ago. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen and staff members. Thank you for, thank you for comments, Bill. We understand your frustration. Um, pretty sure we share it. Um, next, we have Stephen Nestel. Stephen, can you promote Stephen and then we can listen? Uh, hi, can, oh. Hi, can you hear me? We can hear you, Steve. Go ahead. Okay, great. So uh, I, I obviously want to uh, endorse what Mary Sackett said, and Bill uh, Bill expresses the frustration that I feel, but I think actually Mary Mary's points were well taken, um, that this did come from, it, it it's really, really feels like to us that this is just a delaying tactic by uh, uh, the owners, and um, I, it's been enough. It, you know, I'm 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 very frustrated. I know you're frustrated. It seemed like two meetings ago, 
uh, the entire board was unified that uh, something must happen right away, and we get another another uh, uh, delay, and I just don't know what it's going to take. Uh, it's like a boxcar stuck on the railroad tracks for our community. You know, so much is riding on this cleanup. Uh, of course, um, we're interested in, in uh, cleaning the water and, and making uh, this area environmentally safe, but there's also several uh, uh, low-income housing developments that are being proposed for that site as well as across the way at St. Vincent's. So a potential of maybe 800 units are being stopped by the recalcitrance of um, Marinwood Plaza uh, LLC. And um, I know that she ha they, they have said, well, they're in financial straits. I don't know what their financial s situation is, but I will tell you that the family were the original developers of our community in the 50s and had had extensive holdings in LLCs throughout the county and, and possibly uh, the rest of California. So, uh, you know, just take it, take what you hear with a grain of salt. Action means much more than words. Let's get it going. You have the power. Please use it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank, thank you for bringing to our attention the, the uh, April 5th letter. We were not aware of it. Um, and uh, the chair, uh, the vice chair and I will talk to the executive officer. We meet once a month and we set agendas down the road. Um, so we're going to figure out when we can schedule this for uh, a, a meeting and on, in what venue it, it, it would, whether it's a report or, or something uh, a little more, uh, whether it's a report or something more. Um, so we will do that, um, and we will, uh, I think, wrap in the County Board of uh, Supervisors' office, so we, we can try to work in concert. So, um, Jim, I'll just I'll just add to that if it's okay. I, Am I not on the right one? You're not close enough. Not close enough. How's that? That's it. Yes, it is. Okay, it sure is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I, I just uh, I just want to add my um, we're all frustrated by this. And when Jim says we're going to talk to the executive officer, he, he means I'm sorry, Chair McGrath. He means like as soon as possible. And we're going to get this agendized as soon as possible this spring um, and see what else would make sense to move this from where it is to to where we would like all like to see it. So. Yeah, I would like to reiterate that and also just thank the commenters for their respectful and thoughtful approach to this uh, and that they they show a tremendous amount of respect for this board our staff and the process um, and i'm sure they have less hair than they had when they started this uh, i do i know and um and i hope that we can very quickly get to a point where we're taking it an action to ameliorate the problem. All right. 